What is up guys? How are y'all doing today? How is the grind going on my NBA 2K19? Today we are going to check out the reigning threes event. I'm going to give you all the pointers and tips and go over the actual event rewards and everything I know about the event. The things that are the same, the things that are different and kind of give you a brief overview strategy and how to win every single game you play. I have played this an absolute ton never lost a game this strategy has worked flawless so if you're interested in that be sure you hit that thumbs up really appreciate the support also let me know in the comments how your how your nba 2k 19 season is going so far your all right so before we start i do want to mention that if you are new to the channel um in the description i do have a link to our discord server uh, there we have a bunch of people talk about 2k post pictures on all of the new polls talk about teams and all that stuff so if you are new interested in something like that go check out that link in the description but as you see right now i have 2126 crowns I've been grinding quite a bit. If you have done this, the maximum you can get if you go perfect the final round is 18 crowns unless, of course, you have a coaching bonus. Um, well, 19 actually because you get a plus one. But uh, unless you have a coaching bo bonus, then it's just times two. So as you see, man, that's a lot of grinding, a lot of crowns, and we don't have much time. It expires in one day, all of those crowns. So be sure you get as many crowns as you can. So first thing, we're going to talk about the actual game mode itself. Uh, pretty much the exact same as last year. Actually, the same bugs and glitches as last year. Unfortunately, I can't believe they did not fix that. The only thing that's a little different from last year is the scoring system. Now it is not a random multiplier depending on when you, uh, I guess, start the match. It is the exact same amount of points every single time. So I guess that's consistent in that way. So um, yeah, same exact event, pretty much exactly the same glitches and everything like that, which we'll all talk about as well, or at least mention a little bit later. So now let's look at the actual deck before we get into an actual game. Um, what I found works best is use absolutely 100% all untrained common uncommon players. Now, when you first start, you build up, you get a bunch of draft picks and you pull a bunch of uncommon players. Now, of course, like with all other tiers, you have better uncommons than you do. Um, you have better uncommons and worse uncommons. So you're going to want to find the best ones and it might take, you know, a couple draft boards to pull the best uncommons. But once you get that, all you want to do is just balance out the positions. You don't have to worry about the abilities. You don't have to worry about the focus type, okay? Because on uncommons, it makes no difference. They match your deck, and so uh, they're not going to have focus type. You're not going to have focus type. So that's one less thing to worry about. Balance out the positions, and I'm telling you, this works like an absolute charm. Obviously, with your supports, you're going to want to uh, balance them out. Try to get three different ones as high as you possibly can. Not that it really matters because the glitches kind of mess up the support cards anyway, but I still play them on the times that it does work, then it actually comes in handy. But that's what the deck looks like. Like I said, go into your deck, do all untrained, uncommon players, the best uncommons that you can get. And uh, after you play some games, you know, look in your deck again, replace the uncommons and you'll see like easy way to tell is you go in here, you hit swap and uh, you go on here and you just scroll down. And as you see Dante Exum minus 19, so he's 19 points worse than the guy up there. So it does have them ranked. And as you uh, collect your uncommon cards, you're going to want to put your best three, obviously same positions. Point guard, shooting guard for the first one, shooting guard, small forward, power forward for the second one, power forward, and center for the third one. And uh, I have two of the same players, and then power forward and center run the same exact thing. Works every single time. Um, so that's what the deck looks like. So now before we start an actual round, uh, the first thing you're going to want to notice is the three players that are up that you're going to face on your opponent. Now, since you have all uncommon players, you do not want to have a green card in there because the only thing that matters is at the very end. How many points if you can get all three wins in the very last round and that's going to determine how many crowns you get. So you do not want to get a rare. 
and so all you have to do is just hit the little back arrow back out go forward and back into it until you have three players that are either common and uncommon as you see they're two different shades of gray which means some are uncommon some are common and so uh this is what we want this is what we want to see and you'll know or you'll notice in the actual game itself there will be one rare card at least um very few maybe like one percent of the time i've had one that had two rare cards but uh 99.9 percent .9 of the time it'll be all uncommon and common and then one single rare card and of course you're not going to win that but it's in the round and it's not going to really matter so uh we got our champions i got my three best cards up at the top so i know exactly who to play and then the round starts like i said everything is going to be all uncommon and common you don't have to worry about focus types, which is absolutely beautiful. One less thing to worry about. And now all you have to do is just match up the position. Um, every once in a while, I check the actual stat offense, defense. But most of the time, honestly, most of the time, I just click the right position. And if you have the best uncommon players in your lineup um, and you put them in the right position and get that boost, then most of the time they're going to win. Now, at the end of the round, if you win, now the point system is a little bit different. Like I said, there is no multipliers this time. It's the set points. And so um, if you win all three rounds in a row, uh, you get 18 points. 18, you get 18, they get zero. And this time, this year, as opposed to last year, um, last year, the point differential between the two teams did not change if you won all three uh, matchups on defense this time on the other hand this year it actually does you get nine points your opponent gets zero points if you win all three matchups on defense so now as you see we started 18 to zero we're going to go on defense now we're going to do the exact same thing we're going to match up now unfortunately we have shooting guard uh small forward guard small forward and guard so we can't match up the center position sometimes this goes against us but uh we just do what we can sometimes you get a bad matchup but most of the time like i said it works out just fine you really don't have to worry about it um so as you see we win the first one win the second one and we lose the third one which really isn't a big deal now let me check my little uh roster thing and so if on defense i had to write this down on defense if they win two of them and you win one in a row you get four points and they only get two points so um we got 22 points now and they got two like i said there is no multipliers so once you figure out like which ones win then you'll know the points and stuff um it's not too hard it, it just does the same thing every time we have power forward power forward and center same thing this time we do not have shooting guards and did you see the rare on there and so this is the time that the rare is going to pop up you're not going to have any chance to win that so it's really no matter that they that they won that not really a big deal and sometimes when you have power forward power forward center you do what you do lose that but again you're gonna win this 99 percent of the time i guarantee you i still have not lost match up the positions again i'm just clicking the buttons um doesn't really matter because you get the bonus points for or the bonus percentage as long as you match up the position got all three of them got our 18 points 33 to 6 we maxed out into the green we're going to start the final and uh then you got your um this time actually out of my support cards defense is the only one i do not have so it's not going to really matter uh, support cards aren't going to make a difference, but, uh, uh, you know, they use their rebounding support. I have no idea why. But uh, now we have all three cards in there. You know that they don't have very much because we pretty much win every single round. And uh, this is just pretty much a breeze. It's the best uncommon players that I got, which is usually uh, better than the ones that they put in there. And there you go. We have our win. If you win all three of them, the very last round, you get 18 points. And then you get a plus one, um, plus one extra point for playing, the reaching the finals or whatever. So 19 total crowns when you win. Here's our draft board. I am rare tier now. I had to actually pro up 
five ultra rares in order to get a rare. So, uh, oh, we got a spinner. Okay, so right off the bat, you know, I, I don't get these very often, but uh, in the video, we might as well do it. We're going to watch the ad real quick and be right back. All right, so we got our ultra rare spinner. I still have not done um, an epic spinner. I have 24 credits from doing the login packs. So I was thinking that once I get to 25, I think I might do an upgrade, but then I might save them because uh, once I get to the higher tiers, I could probably use those 25 for a better spinner. But anyway, I still have not, I've probably had in five or six spinners. I have not pulled anything but support cards and um, power up cards. So unfortunately, I have not figured out the technique on this thing. I don't know if it's different playing on blue stacks, but uh, I'm just gonna click it random. I'm just gonna close my eyes, hit the button, because it doesn't seem to ever work when I'm trying to uh, do the right thing. And we pull almost, we almost got an epic. But uh, we pulled an ultra rare Kyle O'Quinn. I have total maybe six or seven ultra rare pros now. So, um, yeah, I, I hopefully I'll be good for when the gauntlet starts. I know, um, I don't know when the first event is. Obviously, it says limited time on there, and I don't know exactly when it's going to start. But anyway, you got to watch the spinner. You got to watch a game. Use all uncommon cards. I'm telling you, it absolutely works like a charm. And as you see right here, there is the one rare at the end. All you're going to want to do, just back out, go back into the game, let them refresh the three people that you're playing against or the three opponents that you're playing against. And then boom, we have this time um, all commons and uncommons. Next thing we're going to look at, let's look at the R3 store. Now it says the crowns expire in one day and 16 minutes. So pretty much 24 hours from now, all of these crowns are going to be gone. I was, when it initially started, I thought, hey, you know what? I'm going to try to get that 6,000 and realized quickly that that's pretty much impossible. Um, but I'm thinking that, and somebody else mentioned this in the Discord, that it might be for an entire calendar month is when these things might expire. I don't know for sure, but it's quite possible in one day, we're gonna get, since a new month is starting, we're gonna get the full 30 days to build up 6,000 crowns. Now, if we had three days, like it initially started, or two days, two two and a half days, there would be no way to do that. Absolutely no way, 6,000 crowns is ridiculous. I've been playing this a ton and only got 2,100. So I'm just gonna get enough to get that silver pack and then uh, probably a little bit extra just to play it and try to get the draft picks and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's what that looks like. Hopefully we might see some players on here on the store. It'd be really nice if they, even if they offered, hey, you know, an elite card for 10,000 crowns. I mean, I think that would be decent, but uh, who knows what's gonna come. Um, also, uh, another thing I wanna mention that as opposed to last year, when you run out of game nights, I, I have full game nights or close to full right now, so I can't necessarily show you. But when you run out of game nights, there's gonna be a little button down here by choose the champion that says get game nights. And you're gonna click that button and it's gonna say watch ad to get a free game night. So no longer do you actually have to wait for your game nights to refresh you can just go in there, click that, watch the ad, and get a game night instantly. So that is an amazing addition that they have added to this event and to other events as well. I mean, just to be able to do that in uh, 2v2 and stuff like that is absolutely awesome. I'm assuming it's gonna be like that for the gauntlet. Um, it's just like this in Supercard. So it's good that they added it, same exact format and things like that. Um, one another thing that I wanted to mention before we go is that uh, coaching bonuses. I almost forgot this before I talk about that. Uh, coaching bonuses that is like a hot streak. So on the draft board, you will get coaching bonuses, which is exactly the same thing as a hot streak. Just gives you double points. Uh, however many crowns you get, you're going to get double that. And you do find them on the draft board, and you can buy them for 25 credits. Same exact thing as hot streaks, though. But I think we covered pretty much everything. Got the lineup done, got the store done, got an example done. The point system, like I said, if you, if you have a question about the point system, just ask me in the comments. Um, it's the exact same format all the way across the board. If you win, if you're on offense and you win three in a row, you get 18 points, they get zero. If you win two in a row 
and they get one game, then you get eight points and they get one point. Um, and you know, depending on when you win and when you lose in the order, if you got three in a row or two in a row or alternating ones, you get different points, but it's the same across the board. Like I said, so once you see it a couple times, you'll be able to figure out and know exactly how many points you want to get. But uh, another thing I wanted to mention before we go is the two V two. Some have asked me, why don't I play two V two? Well, when you play this game, you get 12 draft picks. Um, every time you play a game. 2v2 you get 12 draft picks every time you play a game and the dra you need you need 2300 uh points in order to get the very top on there and which is like 20 games and so that's just not worth it for me you know you're getting 104 points 130 points depending on how many of those uh golden state and cleveland players you have in your lineup you know how many games that is to get 2300 i mean that's an absolute crap ton the games take longer it's harder to match up and all that stuff these games are a lot faster a lot easier you get the same amount of picks and so i would recommend doing reigning threes until they change something or maybe your deck gets higher maybe they add a foil in 2v2 but as of right now i feel like 2v2 is completely pointless Raining threes is pretty much the only place that you need to be. I think even on quick game, I don't think there's a point to play quick game. Raining threes is where it's at. Just use uncommons. You'll go through this like a breeze, get 12 credits each time, and uh, just you constantly use your um, watch ad to get a free, you know, a free game night. That's going to do it for the video. I hope this helped. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comments. I tried to make it as detailed as I possibly could. Hopefully you understood what I was saying. And uh, like I said, I still have not lost a single match in the entire Raining Threes thing using only uncommons. So every once in a while, I will lose a match at the very end, but that's only because they still have the exact same glitch as they have last year where for example if you're i know i keep talking about stuff and not leaving but if your one player says that you need them for offense and the second player has defense on there and you do your matchups based on that offense and that defense and you get into the actual matchup sometimes it'll switch uh what player goes with the offense what player goes for defense and that can completely screw you over and it was the same glitch as they had last year it's the same problems as now why they haven't fixed it is absolutely beyond me that is just ridiculous but it's still not too hard even to win without it so anyway that's gonna do it hopefully you did enjoy if you hit that thumbs up i know it's kind of long thanks for sticking around if you're here to the end y'all are absolutely awesome i will see y'all in the next video next stream y'all take it easy i am out peace